वेलकम वी विल स्टार्ट दिस सीरीज विथ वेरी बेसिक एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन विच आर द सिंपल इन्वेस्टिगेशन टूल्स कॉमनली यूज इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री सिंपल इन्वेस्टिगेशन टूल्स दैट आर कॉमनली यूज इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री आर ब्रेन स्टॉमिंग और ग्रुप डिस्कशन रिपोर्ट फ्रॉम एस एम ई वाई वाई एनालिसिस पर्सनल इंट्रोगेशन रिव्यू ऑफ प्रीवियस हिस्ट्री ऑफ नॉन कंफॉर्मेंसेज एंड प्रोसेस मैपिंग टूल फॉर इन्वेस्टिगेशन नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन विच आर द एडवांस्ड इन्वेस्टिगेशन टूल्स कॉमनली यूज इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री एडवांस इन्वेस्टिगेशन टूल्स दैट आर कॉमनली यूज इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री आर फाइव एम और सिक्स एम टूल फॉर इन्वेस्टिगेशन फिजबोन टूल फॉर इन्वेस्टिगेशन विच इज ऑल्सो नोन बाय कॉज एंड इफेक्ट डायग्राम और इशिकावा डायग्राम एंड फेल्यूर मोड एंड इफेक्ट एनालिसिस अलॉन्ग विद दिस टू रेयरली यूज एडवांस टूल फॉर इन्वेस्टिगेशन आर prior to chart and scatter diagram for investigation next question why to use investigation tools in root cause analysis answer is usage of investigation tool provides systematic approach for root cause analysis it makes investigation report more presentable and it is regulatory expectation that investigation shall be carried out using appropriate investigation tool next question explain the process of viva analysis process of viva analysis can be done in four steps step 1 state the problem step 2 ask question as why did the problem occur in step 3 once you got the potential reason ask why that happened and step 4 do this exercise until you get root cause next very frequently asked question is whether it is compulsory to ask five questions in viva analysis the answer is no it is important to understand the real purpose of doing this exercise of asking questions why why tool for investigation is used to find root cause once the root cause is confirmed at third or fourth question further questions need not be included in other case if investigation team found that the root cause is not identified up to fifth question team can ask subsequent questions till the root cause identification next question for which type of investigation why what tool of investigation is better suited why what tool of investigation is most commonly used tool for investigation in pharmaceutical industry this tool of investigation is better suited for investigations related to human error machine or instrument breakdown system errors document errors etc next question explain about fishbone diagram structure refer below schematic for understanding fishbone diagram structure the diagram is structured like fish skeleton with the main issue in the center and potential causes branching out of it next question explain how fishbone tool of investigation is used fishbone tool of investigation is used in a five steps step 1 define problem or issue in second step construct the skeleton of fishbone and name each with six lines coming out of spine that is man material measurement method machine and milieu in third step construct a 5 minutes brainstorming session for each category ask how could have that problem has been occurred and add responses to the diagram in fourth step discuss the potential root causes and share relevant information in fifth and the final step determine the root cause or few leading factors Next question what each m stands for in 6m investigation tool 6m stands for man machine material method measurement and milieu that is environmental factors Next question which points to be considered under factor man under factor man we should consider following points education experience and job role qualification of personnel for particular activity training on relevant sops previous deviation or os history of human errors of personnel under investigation and outcomes from the personnel integration shall be considered under factor man next question which points to be considered under factor machine under factor machine we should consider following points for particular equipment or instrument equipment qualification status calibration status preventive maintenance status previous history of breakdowns or malfunctionings operating steps followed during processing and whether any unusual observation made during the processing next question which points to be considered under factor material under factor material we should consider following points 
डेट ऑफ रिसिप्ट स्टोरेज कंडीशंस रिटेस्ट और एक्सपायरी डेट्स यूसेज ऑफ एक्यूरेट क्वांटिटीज ड्यूरिंग प्रोसीजरल स्टेप्स स्पेशल प्रिकॉशंस टेकन ड्यूरिंग हैंडलिंग ऑफ मटेरियल बेस्ड ऑन नेचर ऑफ मटेरियल फॉर एग्जाम्पल ऑक्सीजन सेंसिटिविटी लाइट सेंसिटिविटी एक्सेट्रा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच पॉइंट्स टू बी कंसिडर्ड अंडर फैक्टर मिल्यू और मदर नेचर एनवायरमेंटल फैक्टर्स विच कैन इम्पैक्ट ऑन द प्रोसेसिंग शैल बी कंसिडर्ड ड्यूरिंग द इवेल्यूशन ऑफ दिस फैक्टर दिस फैक्टर्स मे इंक्लूड टेम्परेचर रिलेटिव ह्यूमिडिटी प्रेशर डिफरेंस नाइट्रोजन और ऑक्सीजन लेवल इन केस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन सेंसिटिव प्रोसेसिंग एंड लाइट और लक्स लेवल इन केस ऑफ फोटो सेंसिटिव प्रोसेसिंग नेक्स्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर विच टाइप ऑफ इन्वेस्टिगेशन फिशबोन टूल फॉर इन्वेस्टिगेशन इज बेटर सुटेड फिशबोन टूल ऑफ इन्वेस्टिगेशन इज सेकेंड मोस्ट यूज इन्वेस्टिगेशन टूल इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री दिस टूल फॉर इन्वेस्टिगेशन इज बेटर सुटेड फॉर इन्वेस्टिगेशन वेर इन मल्टीपल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग फैक्टर्स नीड टू बी एनालाइज फॉर एग्जाम्पल लोअर एसे कंटेमिनेशन सोर्स आइडेंटिफिकेशन माइक्रोवेल एक्सकर्शन इन क्लीन रूम Sterility failure, NVPC excursion in clean room, batch failure investigations, etc. Next question: Whether we can use two investigation tools in one investigation? Answer is yes. We can use two investigation tools in one investigation. Brainstorming tool of investigation is more commonly used in conjunction with other investigation tools. Five wise technique is also often used in combination with the fishbone diagram. Next question where the process mapping investigation tool is better suited this tool of investigation is used to rule out or identify specific process failure this tool of investigation is best suited for process failure investigations such as lower yield lower assay during batch processing etc next question how brainstorming tool for investigation is used a group of smes that is subject matter experts sit together and discuss about the observed discrepancy ideas suggested or points come out from the discussion are noted down to come to root cause next question for what purpose investigation tools are used in pharmaceutical industries in pharmaceutical industries investigation tools are used for root cause analysis investigation tools are used for deviation investigation os investigation market complete investigation incident investigation or any other failure investigations next question for what purpose fmea or failure mode effect analysis tool is used in investigation failure mode effect analysis tool is used to identify risk and their potential effects it also allows statistical way to evaluate available control measures along with adequacy of proposed mitigation plans next important question which are the most critical steps involved in performing root cause analysis here are the seven most critical steps involved in performing root cause analysis defining the problem gathering data analyzing the data identifying root cause develop solutions implementing solutions and evaluation of results next question how investigation tool review of previously reported discrepancies is important A review of previous 24 months data is preferred for this purpose previously identified root causes for similar discrepancies helps to make investigation approach and identification of root causes it also helps to review previously taken kappa effectiveness more useful videos will be coming on this channel subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry